friends, it's Renee here and baby born Kate. She is three weeks old and just doing wonderfully. And today I want to give her her first bath. So while I get her undressed and ready for her bath, I wanna tell you why this is a good time to give her a bath. Since she was born and we brought her home from the adoption center, I've been giving her just a little sponge bath with a wet washcloth, a wet warm washcloth, but now I can actually give her a bath, and this is why. When babies are born, they have, you probably know this, an umbilical cord where they're attached to their placenta. Anywhere from a week and a half to three weeks, most babies lose that umbilical cord stuff that's there, it just falls off. And that is what happened to Kate just yesterday. That's kind of a big milestone for little babies. And once that has fallen off, then babies can have a bath and be submerged in the water. So now that that has all fallen off, we can now give Kate her first bath. I'm a little bit nervous about it. It's always interesting giving babies their first bath because sometimes they're a little bit nervous about being in the water, but I'm hoping this goes really well. So I'm gonna get it set up right now. All right, Kate. So this is what I'm gonna be giving her bath in. It's just a little basin, it's kind of decorative. It's rather special to me. My grandpa gave it to me as a birthday present many years ago. So here's the basin and I filled the pitcher that goes in it with water. So it's just with warm water. The general rule for a newborn is that you want it to fill almost like nothing on the delicate area of your skin by your wrist. So it feels just perfect. So I'm going to fill this up with warm water. I also have some natural bubbles that are just fine for babies to have. So I'm going to add some little bubbles in. And I brought that up. There, I think that's all ready. Okay, so I'm gonna go get baby Kate. Okay, so here's baby Kate, and I usually like to let them touch the water first with their little toes so they can get used to it, and then gradually lay them in their bath. Oh, she's liking it. Oh, she looks so relaxed. I'm gonna just put this warm washcloth over her tummy to keep her warm. Just like that. She loves this. I think she loves her bath. You just gently pour water over. The first bath is always really interesting because usually they're just, it's all new to them. So, but that's what's kind of fun. Can't play yet, but they seem to be very relaxed many times. Either that or they hate it, but she loves this. Look at that, she's almost falling asleep. I'll try sitting her up and see if that wakes her up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. She's awake a little bit more. And even though she can't play with the toys, I did bring some little things in for her to look at. Colors are so stimulating for babies at this age. Put it on your hand. Yeah. I also brought this little guy in. And I thought in a minute I'd bring some of her sisters in to play with her. Little ducky. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Got this is a little set of stacked tub toys. But I'll just use these to pour water gently over her. Just get her used to this experience of taking a bath. There we go. And then I do like to wash babies, even newborns' hair. Babies can get something called cradle cap, which is where the dead skin and dirt and oil all come together and create kind of like this kind of sticky stuff on their head. So I like to make sure to keep their head nice and washed and clean. Even if they have no hair, that can still happen. And then I'll wash under all her folds on her neck, in her armpits, her little toes, her back, just everywhere. So I think right now she's all relaxed, so I'll call her sisters in and they can play with her for a minute in the bathtub. 
I'm here with the big sisters. There's Christy and Toria. Can you get in there and help too? Let's wash the hay, okay? Yes, I did a little bit, but that would be great if you could do a little bit more. Toria's okay. here too. Okay, close your eyes. Thank you for coming, guys. That's a great idea. Oh yeah, that way her eyes don't get get soap and water in them. She's looking still so relaxed. Oh, that's yeah. so nice. I think she really likes her bath with her sisters. Oops, I got in her eyes. Whoopsie. Oh, before she cries, we'll just wipe the water off her eyes. Thank you, Toria and Christy. Isn't it so fun to give babies little baths? Yeah. Yes. Let's come here. Aww. Girls are so sweet. She wants to get another washcloth. It, it has, I think, sky on it. Oh, it uh, does have sky from, is that Paw Patrol? I think so. Oh, that's your favorite washcloth you're sharing with your sister. Yeah. That's so sweet of you. And you're all clean. I think she's looking happy. Hey, we better get to dress pretty soon. Okay, I think you're right. Look who's wide awake now after Big Sisters gave her a little bath and played with her. Now you can see her eyes, which we don't see open very much. But look at those, so cute. There's little Miss Kate all wrapped up in her towel. I think she loved that bath. I just put the pitcher and basin on the floor there. And up here on the changing table, I set out her new outfit. It's little pink sleeper. And it says sweetheart right there with this pink headband with a flower. And of course her diaper. So I think we're ready to get you all dressed, little girl. Okay, like right there. Oh yeah, she's all relaxed and she smells just wonderful. Well, I think that bath went great. And I'm so excited about giving her more baths now. She's three weeks old, so that's a fun milestone to get to when that umbilical cord falls off and they can be submerged in water. Well, you could even go swimming pretty soon, little Kate. So let's put your sleeper on. And I haven't gotten any other word about the other twin, so I'm hoping I'll hear from them soon about when she'll be ready. They thought within a month, and that was a week ago, so Maybe within the next three weeks. For sure hoping it soon. That will be fun. I wonder if her twin sister's umbilical cord has fallen off and if she's had a bath. I wonder if she liked it as much as you did, Kate. Here. One thing about the sleeper is so cute. It's actually the first time I put her in it, but what I really liked about it is that it on the arms, it has this little folded back piece of material that you can fold the other way and it covers their fingers because newborns are notorious for scratching their faces with their little fingernails because they just wave their arms around. So I'm going to do that. We haven't had an issue with face scratching yet, but we definitely don't want that to happen. So that'll keep her hands warm and then also protect her face. And we can't forget the headband. Oh, now she's all, I'll take the towel out, and she's just all worn out. Oh, little Kate, you're so cute. That flower's almost as big as your head. I've also got this big fluffy pink blanket. That's one of Kate's favorites. She always just seems so relaxed and cozy in it. So I'll wrap her up in that, and she'll probably just fall right to sleep. Oh, she's so sweet. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. And we hope you enjoyed Kate's first bath as much as she did and we all did. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe. And thank you for following along with Kate's journey. Be sure to come back next Friday for more videos of this little sweetie. We'll see you then. Bye.